Hello, this is David from GeekThisNet. Today I'm going to show you how to install textures in SketchUp. I went around my house and took some pictures, and I also made one in Photoshop. If you are taking pictures around your house, you have to make sure the lighting is good. Or else, what I'm about to do is going to look really strange. My lighting wasn't good, so the textures might come out a little bit odd. So to begin, you want to open up Paint Bucket on this arrow key next to the drop down. You want to click it and go to Open or Create a Collection. I'm going to go to my desktop. That's where I saved all of my images. If I can find it, there we go. And then press OK. Since I don't have any uh, texture files, we have to create some now. So we go to create material. It's a create with the plus sign. Hit use texture image. Then I'm going to go to where I have my texture saved. And there are the images I took from my camera and when I made them Photoshop. So we'll open up the first one. Enter the dimensions that your camera took. Like of the texture so it looks normal. This is about two feet. And then I auto adjust the height or the width depending on which one you changed to fit the aspect ratio of the image. You can unlock it so you can add your custom sizes for each one. But I'm going to stick with it locked to the aspect ratio. Once you're done, press OK. And then it will change to in model and show your texture. Right click the texture you just made and hit save as. It should open you, put you right in the folder you got your image from. Then you want to rename it to that material. As you can see, it's saving as SKM instead of an image file, which is what you want. So once that's done, you can scroll down. Scrolling's a little bit odd. You go to house textures and there it is. So we'll add the next one. When you add a new texture, it still shows the previous one, but that's fine. You can just uncheck the box and check it again. And repeat the same steps as before. This one I'm changing it to 10 feet because it's a brick wall. In Photoshop I didn't make it that large of a file, but since the texture is smaller than what the actual file size is, I have to increase the size. And once again, right click the texture, hit save as, and rename it. You don't have to add the underscore texture after each one, but I do it to remember that it's not an image. Then I'll scroll down to house textures and I have all of them that I need. And you can use them how you normally use a paint bucket. I'm going to close out of this and restart SketchUp so I can show you how to get back to them after you close out of it. Okay, so we're back in SketchUp. So I'm going to go to my paint bucket. And right away, they showed up. If they don't show up right away, you go to Details, Open or Create Collection, and go back to your desktop or wherever you save them, and go to that folder and press OK. So let's get to work at making some walls and showing off the textures. Make a basic brick wall. Go to the paint bucket, select that texture, and there we go. You don't have to go with the normal default ones that come with Google SketchUp. Next, we'll make 
some carpet. This texture I took with my camera and the lighting wasn't optimal. So you're going to see that it looks like bricks are blocky when I paste it. See, you can see where all the textures end and begin. If you have good lighting, you can make this go away and look actually like your carpet. Next, we'll just make a simple table or counter to show off the next one. Now I'm going to delete these extra lines. And I delete the whole thing by mistake. Gonna pull the counter up. As you can see, I messed up the bottom one a little bit, but if I redraw a line or two, it will come back. It's just missing the top lines. Okay, and now we can almost texture the whole thing, which is going to be great. So I'm going to grab the wood, texture the bottom, and then I'm going to use a default texture. So I'm going to go to the drop down list. We'll try markers in this gray one might do that looks okay so that's how you create textures in sketchup you can do them by colors also so if i go back to house textures go to create i can create a new one by adjusting the color wheel you can also have access to RGB, HSB, and HLS, their color sets. If you want to make something transparent, even if you're using a textured image, you can adjust the opacity, which means 100% is completely not in see-through. Zero is, it doesn't even exist. So we'll make it like 67, that sounds okay. And I showed it off. You can see right through the top of the counter I made. Again, you wanna save this to your texture folder so you don't lose it. And that's how you create textures or import textures into SketchUp. Make sure if you're taking textures from around your house, you use good lighting or else you're going to get this black effect because it's brighter in the center for me and darker on the edges. And when you're taking pictures of wood, because it's not all the same grain, try to find an area that can be repeated easily so the texture looks the same throughout the whole thing. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see any of our other videos, go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash geekthisnet. And I'll see you guys next time.